Welcome viewers, Meghan Markle is determined to overthrow the royal family because of her deep anger and jealousy. Here's is the shocking truth. This video will explain everything, so do well to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification for more vibes. According to the National Enquirer, her latest interview shows that she's still jealous and bitter after all that happened to her while she was still a member of the royal family. Sources claimed Markle only appeared on the show, but her future interviews will continue to paint a picture of her still frustrated with Prince Harry's family. He seems to have jealousy and is determined to overthrow the royal family at any cost. His rant tonight has overshadowed even the 25th anniversary of Princess Diana's death and the release of Prince Harry's upcoming memoir. Her ego is out of control and she loves competition and racing. The source also claimed that Markle's cold rant was part of a conspiracy created by her and Prince Harry. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex wanted to be elected royal king and queen in the United States prize. They are very proud to be the best electric couple on the planet and want to build an international brand. I'm proud that I can't stop, if the royal family gets in the way, they should be on the lookout, the post read. Meanwhile, Sources also said Prince Charles was already upset when he heard Markle's claims about a relationship with Prince Harry. Claimed to have been the newly appointed king wants the world to understand that, as Markle put it, he hasn't lost his place in Prince Harry's life. She tried to refute that statement by saying she was referring to her father, which the palace does not approve of, her post read. But don't take the tabloid's claims with a grain of salt. There's no evidence that Markle harbors any anger or resentment towards the royal family these days. It's true that she's made some surprising claims lately, but it's not because she and Prince Harry plan to become king and queen of an elected monarchy in the United States. All are mere exaggerations of what Markle said. However, there is no evidence that she upset King Charles III or any other company figure. Meghan Markle is no longer seen with her husband, Prince Harry, as he heads to Balmoral Castle after receiving reports of Queen Elizabeth's death. According to royal expert Kathy Nichol, Duchess Meghan is no longer invited as part of the family. Even if Prince Harry doesn't make it to Balmoral in time to see her grandmother, it's understandable that her family would want him there, Nichol said. But as we understand it, Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, was not invited to be part of the family at one point, Nicole adds. I said go. But I think Prince Harry went to Balmoral alone without a wife. Harry and his 41-year-old Meghan were scheduled to attend the Wellchild Awards in London. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex cancelled performances following news of Queen Elizabeth's deteriorating health, and the Duke flew from London to Scotland alone. Harry's plane landed shortly after news of the Queen's death broke. Earlier, the Duke was seen driving home in a black SUV and covering part of his face with his hands. The Queen's son King Charles III, his wife Camilla, the Queen and Princess Anne have visited Scotland on previous business. Prince William, Prince Andrew, Prince Edward and Lady Sophie, Countess of Sussex arrived in Scotland yesterday. It is no longer established who was in the family at the time of the Queen's death. Kate Middleton was no longer a part of her husband the way she was when she picked up her children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, from school in Windsor. William and Kate, now the Duke of Cambridge and Duchess of Cornwall, were spotted at a school tournament the day before with their children. Confirm. I think the photos we saw when we arrived in Balmoral said it all, she told Eastern Time. Queen Elizabeth II died Thursday at the age of 96. Previously, high death was confirmed by a legitimate statement from the royal family's social media accounts. What can you say about this issue? Please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.